Coming up next, it's a flyweight title fight between Valentina Shevchenko and Alexa Grasso. of a grappler's delight tonight. These women can strike, and that's the type of fight they're expecting. A lot of times people believe when you put two strikers together, they end up wrestling, but these two women have told us, don't even think about calling any grappling. Tonight you watch a kickboxing match inside of the octagon, so be prepared. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, she is good with that hook tonight. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Oh, yes, now we're going. Oh! All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Just over three minutes to go. You gotta dig deep here. Beautiful punch. Nice combination there by Shevchenko. Punctuates it with the kick. And if you're gonna stand and trade with Shevchenko, better tighten up that defense. Yeah, but that's usually what she does. She's very good at mixing it up and leaving you with a kick at the end. I think back to her fight with Holly Holm. I thought that was one of her greatest performances to date, when she was landing those beautiful combinations and really dictating to Holly how the fight played out. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Whoa! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Kick is good by Valentina Shevchenko. So just over 20 total strikes, which have connected for Alexa Grasso. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Such a fast leg kick. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. Nice punch there by Valentina Shevchenko. Sniff that one out as she blocks the kick. Oh! So a strong five minutes down. All right, so the round is over and she gets right back to the stool. The cut on her cheek is only getting worse as she continues to absorb damage to the face. That thing's only gonna get to be more of a factor for her. We will see how it plays out moving forward in this next round. All right, so there is the horn, so we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. All right, round two. Punch over the top. Ah, uh, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Oh, big left hook there. 36 total strikes. Oh. Another left! Well, 
Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting and you're jabbing this land. Oh, beautiful scramble by her there to avoid the takedown and get this fight back to the feet. Got clip with the right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Shevchenko. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see why. You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. Big kick. Countering with a jab here. Nice block by Grasso. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Under two minutes now to go. Huge damage from that elbow. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Valentina Shevchenko. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's gonna be the first one to attempt to take down? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's gonna be the one that makes the first move? Oh, man, I thought that was gonna go. Oh, you can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. If you're gonna finish the fight. Seconds left. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's gonna have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over again. And that's the end of round number two. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through it. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew when you were watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did, and got that big knockdown that really did determine this round. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice one, two there. Grasso gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of big double leg double teams. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp. And Here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. 76 total strikes have landed now for Alexa Grosso. And strikes. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. So she's holding on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Oh! Man. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, oh, those are those. Oh! Kick there by Shevchenko. Oh! Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Under two minutes to go. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish.
Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Oh! She is such a reverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Wow. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, she hurt you. Yep. Back to the feet. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here, just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Grosso. There's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket. She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come. I think we are the only two men sitting in this arena as we have arrived at round four and we enter the championship rounds. A huge, huge five minutes coming up for these two young men. J.A., I couldn't have imagined that this fight would be this good. It's round number four now. Who can really keep fighting at such a high level with such good technical skills as they fall oh. into round number four? with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to be there. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! What a performance! Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, so sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. So there she is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion of the World. What a knockout turned in by this 125-pound phenom here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 58 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexa Grosso. So there she is, and this is going to be a celebration.